Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my favorite package manager for Windows. Now you guys might be thinking, what is a package manager? You know what Windows is, it's the operating system, but what is a package manager? How can I install it? Do I want it? All that kind of goodness. So I'm gonna share with you why first I'm doing this. The reason is I've got a Mac. However, I recently got some Windows computers and I'm thinking about switching to Windows because you know, you know, Macs, they're always getting a bit, you know, privacy issues, all that kind of stuff going on. Anyway, I got some Windows computers. I want to make use of it. Now, I love Mac because it has a package manager, not built in. You can install it. It's got a couple of package managers, actually. Brew and ports, Mac ports. Point is, however, you want to know what is a package manager. And a package manager is something. It's like a, it's like a final boss or like a first level boss if you want to enter the world of Linux. So Linux is like the base operating system written by this genius dude who hates people. He likes shouting at people. Point is, you need to use a package manager to get applications to run on your system. So you might live in a world where you go on an iOS app store, you download something and you click tap at a button and it appears on your screen. Or like in Windows, you download an exe file, you set it up, it installs and you click it. But in the world of Linux, it's all like lines on the screen. It's very unuser friendly because they're trying to weed out all the people that might help their ecosystem. They really want to make it complicated. So they have something called a package manager, which actually simplifies Linux. And it's just a command line tool that allows you to install packages and uninstall packages, which is actually amazing because in the world of Windows, if you install an application, it installs it in a way that just goes everywhere. It plops all over your system, messes up your registry. So if you want to uninstall it, you can't. It's always going to have a, a stain on your computers. On iOS, it doesn't have a stain because everything's in a package. Point is, a package manager installs it in a package, allows you to uninstall it in a package, or as the theory goes. So I've been using Mac to do like my developing, development, all that kind of stuff. However, I switched to Windows. I can go ahead and manually go to the websites, download the applications, download the source, compile it myself, except I'm getting old now and I don't find it fun anymore. It's like you do it a thousand times or 10,000 times and you just say, you know what, is there a middleware tool I can use to make my life easier? So I found this tool called Chocolatey. Now Chocolatey is a package manager I'm gonna be sharing with you in Windows and it just allows me to install packages. So if I wanna use an app called wget, that allows me to get stuff from the internet like easily using the command line, type in strokes of keys. I can just use Chocolatey to download it for me, install it for me, and I'm happy. I can also use it to get FFmpeg. You might have heard of video encoding. FFmpeg is like king of encoding videos. However, if you want to install it, it's effort. So you can use Chocolatey to install it. Point is now, I'm going to show you how to install it, and uh, we're going to go from there. All right, so first up, you want to launch PowerShell. So you go into search, PowerShell, type that in, launch that, and then you want to right click on it, right click on it again, and say run as administrator. Now PowerShell is an official Microsoft Windows application. You can mess up your system using it, so don't do too, anything too adventurous. So I've got the commands over here. You want to type in get execution policy, and it says it's restricted. So if it's restricted, you wanna like unrestrict it a little bit because we're gonna be installing Chocolatey and Chocolatey wants to run a little bit unrestricted. Not fully unrestricted, it's just we're gonna be setting it to set execution policy as signed applications. So there's unsigned applications, which applications which you know, don't have a signature, has, haven't been verified, and there's signed applications, which are applications that have been kind of, it's easy to sign an application. You just go to Microsoft and say, hey, sign this application, and it's signed, but it's like one level step of being more secure. When you allow the execution policy all signed, you can install some dodgy, dodgy applications. So just be careful what you're installing. You're able to now install stuff you don't trust. So I'll say yes. And it's now set. Now I'm gonna launch the next command, which is set execution policy bypass scope process force. This command line, and it's gonna go ahead and download Chocolatey PS1 and that's the script that installs Chocolatey. This is off their website, you just follow their guides or just copy what I'm doing. It's gonna go ahead, Windows Defender is like, hey, something's running, I'm gonna block Windows Defender, I don't like it. And it says, it says that I've already installed Chocolatey on this system. For you, 
because you haven't installed Chocolatey on your system, you know, it'll tell you, hey, let's install it, and you go ahead and install it. But as I've got it installed, I'll show you how to run it. And just say I want to download wget. Just like brew, you type brew install wget. Here, you type in choco install wget right there. And it's going to go ahead and download wget. And it says wget has been installed. So I can say choco uninstall. And it's uninstalling wget. And it works pretty much like brew. It's a very easy application to use. I'll just install it again now. You have so much fun with this stuff, just installing, uninstalling little packages. That's pretty much it. Easy, runs on a command line. And if you're thinking, oh no, I've got to use PowerShell, I like Terminal, I like using the command prompt, don't worry, CMD. As soon as you got it installed, you can still run it like that. It says, chocolatey, detected that you're not an admin. Are you sure you want to continue? If you try to run it without admin privileges, it might not be able to write into the directories where it needs to write. So, you know, just right click on command prompt, right click again, run as administrator and run it from there if you want. So that was it. It was pretty easy, isn't it? That's how to uh, use Chocolatey. Runs pretty much like Brew. Package Manager installs, uninstalls packages. So if you want to like switch from Mac into Windows, you might be saying, oh no, I got to install Apache from scratch. Don't worry about it. Chocolatey will sort you out. Hope you found this video useful. Let me know which package manager for Windows you guys are using out there in the world. And hope you guys enjoyed the show.